Hey, this is Dave at HouseBurns.com. Today we're going to show you how we change the burners on a charbroil infrared. This grill is a four burner grill, but whether it's a two, three, or four, it's all basically the same process. These are the burners that we bought online. Uh, you can get these on Amazon, uh, maybe at a big box store might carry them as well. But uh, we'll have a link in the description below if you're looking to get some of these. One thing that's critical when you're putting these in is make sure you got the right size. So these that fit this one here are around 14 and a half inches. Check the sizing of your old burners before you order just to make sure you got the right size. As you can see here, I roasted my own coffee beans and you can check that link right there and if you want to see how I do it. But basically this is such an easy process. I can probably just move this to the back of the grill without having to take anything out. First things first, pop out the grates. And that exposes the area you want to get to. We're going to take these tents off each burner. And to do that, all you do is lift them up and pull it forward. Those two points come out of the, the face of the grill. I'll show you why, we're going to, why we wanted to replace them. Okay, so these two burners here have rusted out and are faulty. And this one, yeah, this one's starting to do the same thing as well. So when they start, uh, when they start showing off like that, we go ahead and get, get put new ones in. You can see I got a few husks here I got to clean out, but that's, uh, that's from the coffee roasting. Each of these burners has uh, like a cotter pin on each end of it, so we're going to pop those out. These needle nose pliers should be enough. Pry out the cotter pins and they come out pretty easily. And there's two per burner. Just take all those out. There's like a screw, standard screwdriver head on these, and you can turn them and it gets into a better position. There you go. Once those are all off, these shields transfer the gas from one side to the other when you turn these burners on. This one on the right was first off, and then the middle, and then the left. These burners just lift right out. And this one, it doesn't have the igniter on it, so uh, that one comes out pretty easy. Same one. This one should come out pretty easy. And this one as well. But this one has the igniter on it. See if it's still hot. So this one here we want to take this igniter has long since failed on these charbroils. That is a that is an issue that happens. So to remove this, you hold the back of it here. Gotta just pop this off. There you go, and that separates the the burner from the igniter. You keep the igniter where it is. Now the installation is the reverse of what we just did. So these burners are actually a little bigger than the originals. So I'm just going to take that port right there with the needle nose, just bend it up a tad, like that. I bent that tab back just a tad so that I could get this to fit just the way it's supposed to. So some modifications might be necessary. Now interestingly, because this one is fatter than my other one, the igniter is not gonna fit. But that's okay, because it doesn't work anyway. You wanna check the diameter of these to make sure they're identical. You can see these are fatter, and if that's gonna be an issue for your grill, then you wanna check that diameter. But these should work just fine for this one. Well, how much? 
That's stupid. All right, so it looks like on these, that hole right there is, that hole right there is a little, the distance is a little bit short on these. So what I did is drill the hole to extend it. So I, cause I needed more length on this uh, to fit over the existing hole punch right there to fit the drill bit in and then drill it out. And there we go. Just, just need to be a little bit bigger. All right, all we gotta do is finish putting in these cotter pins now. Now that the hole's bigger, this fits on uh, this other metal piece a lot better. So sometimes you have to make some modifications. All right, they're all in. So let's give it a test run. Oh, much better. Look at that. So that's a much better flame than what we had before. So we're back to normal. Coffee can begin roasting. As you can see here, these had the this uh, kind of like a nub on the top that these transfer plates were on. But of course, this one doesn't have it. So now I've just have those transfer plates laying on there, which is probably not going to be ideal in the long run because they'll move. But anyway, those are the compromises when you get something that's quote unquote universal. So I'm going to remove these. So if you want to make sure that you have everything seamless, get only charbroil replacement parts. If you want to save a buck, go ahead and get the universals and you may have to just do a little bit of modification. So I'm just putting these tents to go over the tubes back on. Hope this video helps. If you got anything out of it, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. We've, always, we've got more videos coming. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.